Welcome to another edition of Entrepreneurship 101. My name is David Shans. We took a little time off, okay? We've been going for about four or five weeks now, and I apologize, man. I've been traveling and stuff. But 2017, we're coming with this content. We're gonna talk about becoming an author. We all have a story. If you sat down with a Spike Lee or Malcolm, Mar is it Malcolm Martin? Martin Scorsese or any other visionary. If they sat down with you for an hour, you told them any parts of your story, they can turn it into a blockbuster movie, okay? We all have a story. You gotta have a good story. Nobody wants to watch a whack story, okay? Now, if you don't feel like you have a good story, what I need you to do is create one. Say for instance, you are working at a job that you hate and you're depressed and you don't know how you're gonna get out of your situation. Write your story and then create like a character, like Vicky is you, but like that's your story, but it's telling Vicky's story. And tell Vicky's story how she got out of the situation that you're still in. In a perfect world, how would you get out of your situation? Now I know you feel like you can't get out of your situation right now, but if you're gonna write it and it could come true, write that. That's coming up with a good story. Number two, I need you to build a target audience. Build a target audience. A target audience is a group of people who you're targeting that's going to like your story. We can't be all over the place just writing a story, okay? After you write it for that target audience, I want you to write it for a target person. We're getting deep now. Some of you might say, yo, I'ma write my story for my target audience between the ages of 18 and 35. I feel you, but if you're writing that story for a target audience of 18 to 35, you're gonna miss some people because 18 year olds and 35 year olds, they don't really like go through the same stuff. I want you to identify a target person. What is the profile of the person that you are writing this story for? Now me, I have a guy that I write to. His name's Rico. We might just get hit with the Rico. Everything I do is for Rico. This whole book that I was writing, I did not write the book for men age 18 to 35. I wrote my book for Rico. Now Rico has a job, doesn't really like his job. He's trying to bridge the gap between his job and his dream. Rico in my head has two kids. He can't even get a raise at his job, right? He goes and hangs out with his friends. He's starting to feel uncomfortable. Like, yo, I don't even really want to be in this environment. I don't like going to the club all the time. Now he still goes to the club and hangs out with his friends and things of that nature, but he doesn't like it because he knows, yo, why do we always have to go to the club? Why can't we spend time chasing our dreams? I got these ideas and I want to make them happen. So when I write this story, I'm writing it for Rico. Now, there are a bunch of people in my target audience that will identify with Rico, but we're getting real, real specific. Rico is about 28 years old, but if I write it for Rico, there are some 18 year olds that will identify with Rico's story. There's some 35 year olds that will identify with Rico's story. I'm not even doing this video for you. I'm doing this video for who? You got it, I'm doing it for Rico. So I need you to one, have a good story to tell, and if you don't have a good story, create a good story. Two, I want you to have a target audience, but out of that target audience, I need you to identify a target person. Create a profile of the person that you're writing to. Keep this person in mind as you're writing. Lastly, I need you to identify a particular part of your story. Specific part of your story. So when I wrote my book, Dreams Are Built Overnight, I was talking about how to make the transition from your job to your dream. I narrowed in and zeroed in on teaching people how to go from their job to their dream specifically. When I tell stories of me being younger, it directly ties into how I went from my job to my dream. When I'm telling these stories of like things that happened in my life, it's still talking about this particular part of my life. When I talk about relationships, I'm not talking about relationships or like telling people the story just to tell the people the story. I'm telling it because it's tying into this particular part and shows how I went from my job to my dream. This one lady, she was writing a book and I was reading some of it and she's telling her whole story. Nobody cares about you. Don't nobody care about your love life, your trials and tribulations. They don't care about your favorite shoes. No, you need to be writing a story based on your story, based on a particular part of your story, whether it's depression. I need you to talk about depression in your freshman year, your sophomore year, your junior year, your senior year, and how it relates to depression. When you were a kid, how does your family relationships relate to your depression? All the experiences, we're not telling the story just for the story's sake. We're talking about how it ties into depression. Whatever it is you're talking Talking about so I need you to identify that part that part that was record time that was record time shouts out to trendy cats for sponsoring this video go to their website buy this hat they got a couple other hats with like different shoes on it and trendy stuff they put movies and stuff on hats it's really really cool they knew I had the the Jordan so it's like the hat with the, it is a pretty fly outfit if you think about it and they got some other ones um, yeah, I need you to go to sleepisforsuckers.com because that's the coolest brand in the world. Um, and that's the brand that I built, okay? So if you learned something today, I need you to go to sleepisforsuckers.com. I'm giving you free information. That's how you're gonna pay me back, okay? Go to Amazon and pick up my book, Dreams Are Built Overnight. This is the book. 
It will set you free. It will help you go from your job to your dream. And I'm out this piece, son. Huh?